worms. To some, they are disgusting, slimy creatures that live in the dirt. But to Uncle Jim's worm farm, they are slimy creatures that bring in $360,000 every month on Amazon. That's right, $360,000 every month. Would you don't love? In this video, we will discuss the recent craze surrounding worms and worm farming, also known as vermicomposting. How you can tap into the dirt-filled business and why you will never look at a worm the same way again. If you're interested in learning how money is made in the oddest ways, give us a sub, a like, and if you're really odd, a comment. Now, let's get to the dirty money. Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, started in 1995 by Jim Shaw, is one of the number one sellers of worms on Amazon. Their specialty, the Red Wiggler Worm. The Red Wigglers will eat anything from vegetable scraps to raw food. They thrive on decomposing matter, meaning less food goes to waste in landfills. But how does one make a worm farm? And if you make one, how do you profit from it? Worm farms are simple to create. There are only six items needed to get started. Item one, the worms. Item two, cocoa coir brick. Item three, a bowl. Item four, a bin. Item five, newspaper. Item six, burlap or warm fabric. We recommend that you do extra research to get the best results for your new worm farm. Now that you know how to create a worm farm, let's talk about making that cash money. In March of 2020, 76,000 people searched Google for worm farm. In April of 2020, 164,000 people searched for the same term. A 46% increase in one month. But that's not the only thing people were searching for. The search term worm composting also had a similar increase. It's clear that worm farms and the composting benefits that come with them are skyrocketing to popularity, meaning there is a major opportunity for those who find interest. While doing our research on this topic, we couldn't help but notice the lack of design and modernization in the worm farm industry. With millennials, Gen Z, and soon Gen Alpha entering the garden niche, they expect a certain level of sophistication. Let's take a look at the design of Uncle Jim's WormFarm.com compared to the Sill.com. For starters, Uncle Jim's is hard to navigate on desktop and mobile. It also has a very childish, game-like feel that doesn't come off as professional, even though Uncle Jim is an authority in the worm niche. The Sill.com exudes professionalism and modern design elements that align with the aesthetic that customers are looking to identify with. For new worm composters who are used to modern designs and unique branding elements, Uncle Jim may not be their first choice. Trends, a team of entrepreneurs, analysts, data scientists, and journalists who obsessively track up-and-coming startups, believe that worms and worm farms can be a huge opportunity. That opportunity, we believe, is creating a new brand that is modern and edgy. Another authority in the worm niche is the squirmfirm.com. And compared to Bloomscape.com, we can see a stark difference. The Squirm Firm, again, lacks sophistication, while Bloomscape.com is modern and clean. You can create a simple brand that sells worm farm kits by purchasing the items listed earlier through wholesale. Package it all up using unique and current brand elements and sell those to new worm farming customers. Pair that with good customer service and you can create a leading brand that people want to buy from over and over. But even if you don't want to create a direct to consumer brand, you can do simpler things like create an ebook or PDF showing people how to create a worm farm and sell it for seven to ten dollars. And if you don't want to sell something, you could even create a YouTube channel or a blog. Or you can do everything in tandem and create a worm farm information hub. We believe that gardening and worm farms will continue to rise in popularity because there will always be people searching for ways to grow their own food and how they can reduce their carbon footprint. If you guys like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, or stay odd forever. Until the next video, peace out.